Hey guys, it's Bub here, and if you're taking a look at an operating system that a viewer actually recommended to me, this is Project 07. Project 07 aims to bring back the look and feel of a classic Windows 7 experience, or rather not a classic Windows 7 experience, but your Windows 7 beta experience. I can't remember what specific version, I feel like it was beta 2 or beta 3 or milestone 2 or 3, something like that. But it aims to bring that look and feel into modern Windows 7, or Windows 7 from January of 2020. This is the setup screen, and many of you may think, wait, this doesn't look like the Windows 7 startup screen, but this looks like the Windows 7 setup screen from the beta period of Windows 7. So this is the latest build of Windows 7 updated up to January of 2020, but it is themed to bring back the aesthetic from the beta days of Windows 7. So I find this really interesting because this isn't like your typical level of custom ISO we take a look at because this is Windows 7 aiming to be an older version of Windows 7. We'll get into it once it installs. I'm really eager to see what this OS looks like. All right, and here we are. As you can see, this very much looks like the Windows 7 beta setup. I mean, that's their whole goal. Not even just the UI, but the whole setup process itself. I mean, this is really reflecting you know windows windows 7 beta i mean this wallpaper alone makes it feel so much different i mean this this is incredible i don't know a lot of people that like like that really are into the windows 7 beta themes but obviously there's people out there if they made this um this is incredible like i said this is great the one thing that really caught my eye about this because i actually wasn't gonna take a look at this is the fact that the iso is 6.3 gigabytes which is one of the largest ISOs I've ever seen. I think it might be bigger than the Windows 11 one, if not on par with Windows 11. For reference, I think Windows 7, the original, was like 3 or 4 gigs. It, this is 6.3 gigabytes. So I don't know why this ISO is so large, what this OS is packing. Um, it's incredible. I just want you to take a look at this login screen here. I mean, just look at the, the background itself. And this logo, I believe, is different. This is more like the Windows Vista logo, which again is how it was in beta and then also that little arrow spinning wheel that is incredible that is what it looked like in the betas all right and here we are so the nice thing about this is the fact that it actually isn't a beta build we can install vmware tools so because this theoretically should be the most up-to-date version of windows 7 that there is up until january of 2020 which is when it lost support so let's get VMware tools installed so we can get the full arrow effects, which I can't wait. I really miss Windows 7 arrow. It was truly a beautiful era of computers. And now, I mean, Windows 11 is great and all. Personally, I'm about ready to switch to Mac OS, but I know I might get a lot of hate for that in the comments. But anyways, all right, and we're gonna go ahead and reboot our system to get VMware tools. We might actually have to switch to the arrow theme manually that is, if the arrow theme even existed at this point, I don't know if it did or not. I mean, I guess we'll find out. The startup screen, as we can see, is just a regular Windows 7 startup screen. I'm not actually sure if this... I don't think it was like that in the real beta, but, I mean, they're close enough, right? All right, let's figure out why we are not getting the Windows arrow theme. Oh, uh, here we go. I think we have to change it. Let's change it to Windows 7, and this should bring us, you know, give us that arrow. And then I have to fix the UI itself. Why is it so, you know, it's not taking up the full screen resolution. There we go. That is much better. That looks like the Windows 7 that I know and the Windows 7 that I love. So I'm going to set the scaling up and then make the display. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to change it. I'm just going to change the resolution. Um, that way... You know, maybe we can see a little better. So I'm going to change it to 1080p. And then I'll just do a stretch. So that way you guys can see a little better. And here we are. This is Project 07. First thing I can say is I really miss Windows 7. But let's take a look at what we have on the desktop by default. We have our recycle bin, which, you know, typical recycle bin, nothing too special. We have a send feedback button, which is actually the real like this isn't the real send feedback, this is Project 07. If you've experienced issues or had suggestions, contact the creator on their Discord. Now I would assume that takes you to the Discord. And then it tells you, you know, how to submit feedback, what tips to give, things like that. Here is the credit notepad document. 
Uh, I believe, like I said, I think we've taken a look at Delta 7 before. If not, we've taken a look at a bunch of various Delta Windows versions. So this is built off of Delta 7, which is pretty cool. Over here we have widgets by default. So we have Project 07. Thanks for installing this mod. Click here, blah, 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 blah. We have the clock and RSS feed, as well as, let's see, news and features. With the, oh, this is a USA.gov news and features RSS feed from Saturday, December 30th. That's a long time ago. And we have our little picture gallery here. On the taskbar, we have our typical start menu. The, of course, the taskbar itself with its beautiful arrow glass. Uh, show desktop, the time, the volume slider, network, as well as our little tray here. I want you to take a look at some of the little things in this build. For example, the volume, this, these volume little lines right here, I don't even know what to call them, the levels. On the real version of Windows 7, they're not colored, but in the beta they were, and in here they were. This network icon is different from the one seen in RTM Windows 7. I want you to keep in mind that we're not looking at a beta. We're looking at the, we're looking, this is Windows 7. This is 7601. Service Pack 1, Windows 7 Ultimate. This is the release that they were able to theme. So when you're looking at this, this is not a beta. Keep that in mind. We have Windows Media Player, Windows Media Player 12. I can't tell if this is a newer version or an older version, than, but it looks different than the one that came with Windows 7. I think this is an older version, yeah. And it actually comes with some music. I, I don't know if this is music that the developer puts on or if this is music that comes with Windows 7. I don't think that this came with Windows 7, though. And of course, the Bing button. How could we ever forget the Bing button here in Windows? The File Explorer, here is this logo. I actually don't remember it looking like this, Like, but I haven't taken a look at one of the older builds of Windows Vista, or Windows 7, rather. But yeah, I don't remember it looking like that, but I could be very wrong. File Explorer looks really no different from you know typical File Explorer you'd see in Windows 7. Um, you know, I don't remember that looking like that, the library's picture. But other than that, I mean, everything else looks normal right um, nothing too crazy there internet explorer wow i mean I'm, this is more of just a throwback to windows 7 for me than it is even looking at the os um, i wanted to see what version of i would say this is probably internet explorer 12 the latest version um, but the logo is kind of like an off blue i don't know if it came like that or what that deal is there um, but it does appear to have crashed and as I mentioned earlier, look at that little loading circle. It's not the typical arrow blue that you would see. This is more of a deeper blue, which is pretty cool. Going ahead into the start menu, we can see we have getting started. And I believe, well, that's not what I wanted to do. I don't actually know what's going on. The OS is kind of frozen right now. So we're going to end task, close program, you know, get rid of Internet Explorer. But I want to open the getting started app because I think that it's the Windows 7 one, or the Windows Vista one. I mean, I don't really know. This looks, this doesn't look like the one that shipped in Windows 7. It kind of looks like the one that shipped in Windows Vista, which, I mean, makes sense because this is themed to be like that. You know what I mean? It makes sense. Anyways, going back into the start menu, we can see calculator, which is the same calculator as the different icon. Uh, the taskbar appears frozen, there we go paint with the old logo but I think it's just the same paint um, I don't know why this OS is being so slow today I mean this is one of the most CPU like this is a VM I gave it a lot of well 100% CPU usage I'm not sure why it's doing that um, oh this is the old paint this isn't the one that came with Windows 7 this is the old paint which is pretty cool go ahead and close that moving in we have all kinds of apps I'm not going to go through all of them uh, some things catch my eye. Windows Movie Maker, probably an older version. Oh yeah, this is most definitely an older version. I really miss these days just playing around on Windows 7. I mean, this is crazy. Um, let's see. Photo Gallery, Windows Update, Accessories, typical accessories. Um, all with the old logos, of course. PowerShell, Tablet PC, Ease of Access. Was Windows 7 the one that finally brought PowerShell? Because I didn't, I don't know if Windows Vista has PowerShell or not. Um, I love PowerShell. I use it every day. Uh, small extras and upgrades. I think this is a Windows 7 Ultimate thing. Games. Frozen, of course. I know 100% CPU usage can only get you so far. Or no, it's actually searching for games. 
or it's so slow that it's actually searching those folders. I don't know what's going on, why this is at 100% CPU usage. This is really weird. I'm not quite sure why this is at 100% CPU usage. But that being said, this was Project 07. Definitely an interesting one to take a look at, and I can't wait to see what this, what's in the future for this OS. They did have a list of their future goals on their uh, archive.org site, but I did not get a chance to take a look at them. So that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe for new and as you do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.